Hi guys! So I've been searching on uh, YouTube for a whole lot of shit on how to get a um, an ultra widescreen monitor to run with an iMac or even a Mac Mini. I actually bought a Mac Mini so I could just run it straight off the Mac Mini into the uh, the ultra 5K monitor. And boy, where oh, so sucky! Never buy Mac Mini, guys. You get like two two USB ports and two um, USB-C ports. So two USB-A and two USB-C ports. Pathetic. Pathetic. There's no way you can run a system off that. Like one one port, ah, it's just a waste. It's, it's so shitty. It's so shitty. So I, I returned my uh, Mac Mini. And what I've done instead, which I didn't know you could do this, but you can run, you can actually run the, um, in this video, I'll show you how I run my uh, 5K monitor, my ultra widescreen 5K monitor, through my old iMac. That's right, my iMac. I thought you'd need a newer, a newer computer. Like that's why I bought the Mac Mini. I thought you'd need a newer computer, but you don't. You can do it off an existing one. The only thing is, this is the only thing. On I've got a I've got a 2018 iMac, and it's got like heaps of ports. It's got heaps of ports on the back of it. And what I've got running into, let me show you. This is what I've got running at the moment. This is my iMac running in 5K with the ultra wide monitor. This is a Philips. Super wide. It's actually ultra wide, I think they call it. Now I've got it hooked up through USB C. The only thing is though, you get so many different types of USB C's, it's not even funny. You get some USB-C ports that are 500 and, what is it, 565 megabit connection. Sorry, megabyte. 500 and, whatever it is, 500 and, what is it, 528 megabytes or something, megabits. This, however, is running in 5K and it's coming at, the connection is a uh, USB-C 40 gigabyte per second cable. It's a USB-C 40 gigabyte cable. Now the only thing with the um, with the uh, USB-C 40 gigabyte cables is that they're ultra ultra short. I don't know why they don't make them longer. As of this time, the longest you can get is a one meter slash three foot cable. That's as long as it'll be. So as a result, I've had to sort of sneak, sneak my um, iMac down here. I've got it sitting on top of my ESCII. So this is hooked up to there via USB-C 40 gigabyte string, 4 gigabyte cable. And just to show you, let's see if it'll focus. You can see that the 5120 5, by 2880. And the monitor is a 48 inch Philips. Now I've heard all these different stories about how you can get it to work. Trust me, all you need is a um, a decent um, cable. You'll need the um, the USB-C 40 gigabyte per second connection cable, and you just hook it up. This comes with. Don't even bother with. I've tried this with the um, HDMI. It won't work 5K. It'll do 4K. It won't do the 5K. What you want is the the, uh, the USB-C into USB-C. Now from what I've heard, all Macs from 16, 2016 onwards have the USB-C 40 gigabyte connection plug. So you can plug, they're pretty much all guaranteed to work in 5K. So you just plug in, a, but like I said, you've got to use a, um, a 40 gigabyte connect, connection, 40 gigabyte lead basically. And there's no dicking around. All you do, you just go straight into preferences and it'll be right there. You can choose it as an option. No dicking around. Super easy. Now I'm not sure what, um, what version of Mac OS this is. Let me have a quick look. Let's see what it says. Okay, so it's Big Sur. Not too old, not too new, but it works. 
these are the specifics of my system. So it's got an i5 quad core, 64 gigabytes of RAM. And it's beautiful. I use this for Logic, I use it for um, Final Cut Pro. And it is stunning. It is beautiful. It's an expensive monitor. But like I said, you do not need to go out and buy the latest, greatest MacBook. Anything made from 2016 onwards will work with the, um, the USB-C cable as long as it's a 40GB uh, connection. And like I said, they only you have to look out for it when you're buying it because they only make them in up to a meter in length. This is one of my music keyboards. Emmy! There's my cat ignoring me. There's a little Scooty. Hey Scooty! Thanks for watching guys. Like I said, it's too easy. Too easy. This is my other Yamaha. But this monitor, it is beautiful. 5K. This one here is a is a 5K uh 27 inch. This is a 5K 49 inch, so it's significantly better. And the, the actual resolution itself is better, like it's nice and narrow, nice and wide. I can see all my tracks from Logic from start to finish without having to scroll through. It's beautiful. Oh, all right, guys, thanks for hanging out this long. Let me know what you think. I hope this helps you. If it does, please leave a comment and uh like and why not subscribe um but definitely like and leave a comment so other people can bump into this and realize that, hey you don't need to buy a whole new computer you don't have to dick around with beta software which is some shit that i've heard in, being done in the past all you need is a usb-c 40 gigabyte cable a mac older 2016 or older uh, or newer should i say and a um any old super ultra wide monitor well I can't guarantee that I know it works with mine mine's a Philips 49 super wide monitor I'm assuming it'd be the same because it's got the exact same connections now I should inform you what led me to this I, I set it up and it wouldn't work and then I realized hang on I've got a remote control so um in the remote control you can so you can control, oh man. So yeah, you just go to input. As you can see, it says USB-C. Now I've tried the display port, that wouldn't work. I've tried the HDMI, they wouldn't work. I haven't tried auto, but USB-C, that's the one you want, guys. Well, thanks again, guys. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment and um, share it with people that hopefully don't know how easy it is. I've seen videos online where they say you got to dick around with software and hold down Alt before clicking the option. All this rubbish. It's plug and play. Plug and play. You just make sure you use a uh, a 40 gigabyte cable straight in the back of your uh, USB-C into the USB-C of the monitor. That's the one thing you do want to make sure that your monitor has a USB-C connection. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye!